Okay, last week we ended up the discussion under Roman civilization. Under that, we have the bound books or codex. Through the invention of paper, it became easier to write down everything happened in their time. Record keeping became easier since paper did not easily break, lightweight, and did not occupy much space. That resulted to civilization became fond of record keeping. That includes historical events and legislated laws. Literature was also changed from from clay tablets to parchment papers. Okay, the pictures on your screen you can see books that are bound and the cover are made of animal skin. According to sources, Julius Caesar started the tradition of stocking up papyrus to form pages of a book. Later on, they were able to provide covers to protect papyrus. Earlier covers were made of wax but were later on replaced by animal skin because animal skin are stronger and long-lasting. Okay, under architecture, Romans completely contributed one of the most visual contributions of the Roman Empire to the world. Okay? Consider the continuation of Greek architecture. All engineering and architecture development was fully supported and funded by the Roman government. Able to implement major projects such as large churches or basilicas and cathedrals, coliseums, amphitheaters, and etc. Okay? Those pictures on your screen are some of it. Okay, Roman numerals. We ended here last week, di ba? Okay, Roman numerals. Um, Romans devised their own um, number system, especially to address the need for standard counting method. Okay, we all know what Roman numerals is by now. Okay, let's move on to Chinese civilization. Okay, Chinese civilization is the oldest civilization in Asia known as Middle Kingdom and located on the far east of Asia. It was famous among other ancient civilizations because of the silks, silk trade. Okay, That includes the photos on your screen. That is an example of an ancient silk. So what is silk? Silk is not really produced by silkworm. And the Chinese were the ones who developed the technology to harvest the silk and process it to produce paper and clothing. That leads to silk trade. That opened China to the outside world making way for cultural, economic, and scientific exchanges, bridging the gap between the Western world and the Middle Kingdom. Okay, one of the contributions of Chinese civilization also includes tea production. Tea is a beverage produced by pouring hot or boiling water over crushed or shredded dried tea leaves. Believed that the first tea was drunk by a Chinese emperor. Tea production was developed when an unknown Chinese inventor created a machine that was bale shred tea leaves into strips. Machine with a wheel-based mechanism with sharp edge attached to a wooden or a ceramic pot. Okay. What are the advantages that increase production of tea and trade with the other nations? China became known for tea exports aside from its silk products. Tea was one of the most popular beverages in the world today. So because of that, let us thank China for introducing us the tea production. That's why we have the famous milk tea today, diba? Right? <laughs> okay. One of their contribution to the history of development, we have Great Wall of China. It is the only man-made structure that could be seen from outer space. Imagine how big and how huge the Great Wall of China is that it can even be seen outside the Earth. Okay, Largest and most extensive infrastructure that the nation built and it was constructed to keep out foreign invaders and control the borders of China. It was made of stone, brick, wood, earth, and other materials. It showcased the extent of engineering technology at that time. 
The structure was so massive and strong that it was said to have literally divided China from the rest of the world. The wall's construction put the nation among the powerful civilization during the ancient times. This was the pride of their land and their crowning glory. Diba? Because of it, the Great Wall of China was also included in the Eight Wonders of the World. Imagine how hard it would have been to build a wall that is as massive and as huge and as extensive as the Great Wall of China during those times. They don't have loaders and uh, machineries to build this wall, okay? They only have a human energy that would have been so hard but they manage to create this wonder that have been um standing through ages of time okay next they also contributed the gunpowder one of the most interesting inventions in china originally it was developed by chinese alchemists who aimed to achieve immortality they mix charcoal sulfur and potassium nitrate but instead of creating the elixir of life they accidentally invented the black powder that could actually generate large amounts of heat and gas in an instant gunpowder is widely used to propel bullets from guns and cannons which cause countless deaths gunpowder is also used in fireworks during important celebrations in china imagine they created gunpowder out of the belief that they have they can be immortal but they created something from it that could end so many lives and as of today gunpowder has been the most important discovery in the field of military and defense next we have okay next topic would be medieval or middle ages that is also known as the Age of Exploration. There was a massive invasions and migrations under this era. Okay? Wars were prevalent, so great technology was needed in the fields of weaponry, navigation, mass food, farm production, and health. There was a significant rise in population. Trade and commerce among nations increased, which resulted to greater demands for transportation technology. Some of the most innovative minds came from this period. Under that era, we have printing press. It is invented by Johann Gutenberg. It is a more reliable way of printing using a cast type that utilized a wooden machine that extracted from juices. It is attached to them to a metal impression of the letters and pressed firmly the cast metal into a piece of paper which then made an exact impression on paper. Soon evolved to be a mechanical printing press which was eventually used all over the world. Its advantages is to address the need for publishing books that would spread information to many people at a faster rate made works accessible to individuals who could not even write okay under that era we also have the discovery of the microscope by zacharias johnson it is the key in discovering new means in preventing and curing various illness bucket because through the microscope they also have discovered the presence of microorganism okay, another is telescope it is an optical instrument that helps in the observation of remote objects together with the telescope the invention of compass oars and the rudders made sea traveling easier and safer okay of course they also have contributed war weapons okay since wars were widespread major contributions also includes war weapons since wars were widespread during this age great development in weaponry technology occurred 
For open area battles, people developed crossbows and longbows so that they could attack the enemies at long ranges, keeping themselves safe with the protection of walls and fortress. In close range, hand to hand combat, soldiers should wear something to protect themselves and needed addressed by the creation of iron body armors. Body armors were heavy and limited their movements. Okay, during modern times naman tayo, what are the contributions into the human history of the modern times includes it was the booming world population during 19th century onwards demanded that more goods be produced at a faster rate. People needed efficient means of transportation to trade more goods and cover a larger distance. Machines that required animals to operate must be upgraded. Faster and easier means to communicate and compute should be developed to establish connections between or among nations. In modern times, more complicated problems were faced by the people. Okay, modern times, those are the times beyond the 19th century until now, okay? One of their contributions during modern times are pasteurization. It is the process of heating dairy products to kill harmful bacteria that allow them to spoil faster. It is a better means of production to meet the needs for population, food preservation, and food safety. It was invented by Louis Pasteur. He is a French biologist, microbiologist, and a chemist. Advantages of pasteurization includes that milk could be stored and consumed for a longer period, and it prevents illness caused by harmful bacteria. No, and kasi they drink milk straight out of the bucket that they have gathered into the cows and the other dairy ani- producing animals, okay? But since pasteurization was invented, dairy products now can be stored at a longer time, okay? Petroleum refinery is also one of those. Modern times demanded better means of powering homes and transportation. They used animal oils for gathering light to illuminate their homes. Samuel M. Kerr invented kerosene by refining petroleum. Kerosene was later on referred to as the illuminating oil that was used at first to provide lighting at homes and then was used for heating purposes. The development of kerosene established the petroleum refinery industry. At present, petroleum is used in pouring automobiles, factories, and power plants. Okay, under that, we also have telephone. The more people got connected by the trade and exploration, the more they needed a way to easily maintain the connection and communicate with each other in real time. It was one of the most important inventions at that time and was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Okay, on the photo, you can see Alexander Graham Bell and the first ever telephone. Under the modern times, we also have calculator. Calculator was invented to make easier way for arithmetic calculations. It resulted in the development of more complex processing machine like computer. Okay, let's now move on to Philippine invention. Despite being considered a developing country, the Philippines also contributes to the global advancement of science and technology. Philippines is one of the most vulnerable countries in terms of natural disasters. Many of the discoveries and inventions made by the Filipinos were therefore built from indigenous materials or created to adapt to the harsh tropical environment. Okay, that includes Salamander Amphibious Tricycle. The conversion of American military jeeps used in World War II into jeepneys. Another invention is addition of sidecar to a motorcycle transforming it into a tricycle to accommodate more passengers. During rainy season, flooding is common. 
Water Technologies headed by Dominic Chong and Lamberto Armanda together with chief designer Victor Atoy Liave invented the salamander. Salamander is an amphibious tricycle that can cross not only flooded streets but also rivers and lakes. Okay, that is a salamander amphibious tricycle. Now let us move on to salt lamp. One of the major needs in the Philippines is electrification. Electricity powers various types of machines, including light sources. It was invented by Isa Miheno. She invented lightning system that utilizes some material abundant in the Philippines called salt water. She invented the sustainable alternative lightning lamp that is powered by salt. An environment-friendly light source that runs on salt water. The advantages of salt lamp is safer as it poses no risk or fire and emit no toxic gases. And it benefits those from far-flung barrios so they can make their own salt water by mixing 2 tablespoons of salt and the glass of tap water. Amazing, no? Siguro beneficial ito din sa mga areas living near the salt water or the ocean. Okay? Next, medical incubator. A common problem in the Philippines is the high mortality rate of newborn babies due to maybe lack of available incubators, especially in far-flung barrios due to lack of resources and electricity. Dr. Fe Del Mundo, a Filipino pediatrician, invented incubator. She is the first Asian woman who admitted into Harvard Medical School. She devised a medical incubator made from indigenous and cheap materials which did not run on electricity. She made it by placing a native laundry basket inside a bigger one with hot water bottles were inser inserted between the baskets to provide warmth and makeshift hood to allow oxygen circulation. The main purpose is to maintain condition suitable for a newborn, usually a preterm baby. Other breakthroughs in Philippine medicine attributed to Del Mundo include her works on the immunization and treatment of jaundice and the brat diet for curing diarrhea. What is the brat diet? Brat diet includes banana, rice, applesauce, and toast. Next, we also have the mosquito obicidal or larvicidal trap system. Okay, dengue is a endemic disease that can be found on Asia. Okay, not only in Asia, but some parts of Africa. Year 2010, the USTIDDI was able to introduce the mosquito ovicidal or larvicidal trap system, also known as OL trap. What is dengue? Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral illness that is endemic to tropical and subtropical areas. It is transmitted by Aedes aegypti mosquito, rampant during the rainy days. Insecticides were previously used but it became resistant to mosquito and harmful not only to human but also to the environment. So, we contributed the mosquito obicidal or larvicidal trap system to the world. Okay, next is Egypt. -ni. Major innovation that changed the transportation industry in the Philippines was the development of the jeepney. The iconic public utility vehicle was built using the military jeeps left by the Americans after World War II. It utilizes electricity instead of the more expensive diesel. It is environmental friendly, smoke-free, and noise-free. Okay, that is the end of our discussion. See you next meeting for a further discussion and prepare for a short quiz, okay? Please leave your attendance after the video. To ensure your attendance, please comment your name on the comment section and those who commented their name will be marked present during the discussion today. Okay, thank you for watching the video and participating on your asynchronous lecture. Okay, have a good day.